Chosen ones, where you are, chosen ones, it is funny, and uh, the reason why it is funny is that they are intensely mad at you. If I mean intensely mad at you, I mean it, all right? And in this video, I'll be telling you the reason why they are intensely mad at you some of you will be like who are they your enemies your haters they are intensely mad at you right and it is funny <laughs> it is amazing why you know some people it is amazing why some people have to behave in that manner all right some friends behave in that manner it is funny sometimes you will think of it and you will not even understand it you will not know how it all started you keep wondering what is really happening by chosen ones it is what it is um i'm here to tell you that they are intensely mad at you as a chosen child of god but there is no need to fear there is no need to panic let love lead you let love guide you and love is stronger than any hate all right great um chosen one this is the reason i'm saying they are intensely mad at you all right the reason being that they try to stab you at your back, all right? And as they try doing that, as a chosen child of the Most High God, because of the power, the presence of the Mighty One in you, you are able to remove the knife, the cutlass, the weapon that they using to stab you at your back. You took that knife from them and you used that same knife to cut ties with them. And they are mad. I just don't get it, all right? They are mad because they tried to harm you and they could not succeed. Forgotten that they are the very people that started it that handed over to you the knife they stab you at the back you took the knife and you use it to cut ties and they are mad at you i mean intensely mad at you i just don't get it they throw stones at you you didn't throw the stones back at them because you know the value of that stone. So you collected all the stones that they threw at you. You collected all the stones. Look here. The stones. You collected all of them. And you're using it to build a castle. To build an empire. To build your legacy. And now, they are intensely mad. For what sake? I just don't get it. Right? They try to harm you with the things they're throwing at you. But because you have a good heart, a large heart, a heart of gold, as a chosen child of the Most High God, you pick all the stones and you build a house, an empire, an estate out of the stones that they threw at you. And now they are mad. Chosen ones. <laughs> it is surprising and it is amazing. I just don't get it. Right? They throw lemons, oranges at you. 
you collect all the oranges they threw at you and you use it to make a very nice delicious succulent tasty orange juice and they are mad for what sake you see the motive of your enemies of your haters is that they want you to waste your time replying them back and as a chosen child because you are wise you don't waste your time because you know the value of time so you don't waste your time to reply them that is why they are mad because you are making good use of your time and because you are resourceful you are so resourceful so you are using all the harm they causing you you're using it as inspiration as motivation to keep on advancing yourself in this life to be great and they are mad chosen one this is the secret anytime your enemies are trying to throw things at you to stab you at your back to throw stones at you whatever weapon whatever thing they are doing to you be it rejection disappointment abandonment disown denial whatever just name it use it as a motivation to make you unstoppable just to shame them because if you don't react you don't reply them it pains them a lot if your enemy wants you to be sad and you smile and you laugh it kills them from within they don't know what to do else all they got to do now is to get mad at you because you are not like them and that is why you are chosen because you have a very good heart you don't react to evil with evil but you react to evil with good you react to hate with love and that keeps them wondering you see your enemies and your haters are just like dogs they will be barking at you all right they will try to bark at you even people that don't know you they will try to be barking at you barking at you you know but you always got to remember as a chosen child of the most high god that dogs don't bark at their owners they never do they only bark at strangers people they don't know so anytime somebody is trying to back know that it is not all the time you got to return or retaliate or reply or react to just ignore and keep on moving forward chosen ones don't pay evil with evil whatever you are going through as a chosen child of the most high god pray to god ask god to direct your steps all right ask god to direct your step and turn whatever your enemies are using to harm you to your good all right and that is it that is the best punishment you can ever give to them never waste your time trying to explain to them trying to react to them trying to you know um do them back 
okay never pay them back with their own coins all right the days of tit for tat has passed all right those were those days the old testament stuff to pay a man with it with his own coin tit for tat all right these things have passed so chosen one you need to level up all right and keep on getting them intensely mad all right whenever your family anybody your friends your co-workers your loved ones try to harm you all right don't retaliate with anger whatever they are doing to you is teaching you i always tell you that for you to be great in this life some someone has to provoke you to step out to step out to make a move and leave your comfort zone and the best thing that will help you do that is what they are doing to you the back stabbing the throwing of stones throwing of weapons attacks the rejections the disappointment the betrayals the denials the name callings the persecutions just name them use all these things to step out of your comfort zone when you know your enemy all right try to prove them wrong the motive of the enemy is to waste your time is to delay you in life is to um make you to 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 be looking back but remember as a chosen child of god you are an eagle know how to fight your battles eagles don't waste their time fighting the only bird that try to fight the eagle is the crow and any time the eagle is sowing the crow will land at its back and will start to peck the neck of the eagle the eagle know what he is about the eagle is an animal of vision the eagle has accurate vision about 5 kilometers ahead all right so the eagle doesn't waste its time but the eagle keeps on soaring higher and higher to a more higher altitude and as the eagle keeps going the crow will automatically fall off by itself don't waste your time throwing the stones that they throw at you back to them okay a bad person remember a bad fruit will always fall off by itself so never waste your time replying your haters your enemies your critics but keep on moving forward because you are a man a woman of vision of what of vision and you can never be stopped because you are a focused man so chosen one improve your focus not your detractions all right not the people that will be back biting back stabbing you throwing stones at you trying to make you pause to make you stop to make you quit 
Never do that. And when you keep on going, you use all that they did to you. You use it to improve yourself. That is the most painful thing you can ever do to your enemies and your haters. It puts them to perpetual disgrace and shame. All right? So chosen ones, that is the secret. Keep on sowing higher. You are an eagle, right? And you have the heart of a lion inside you. You are a warrior. You are a conqueror. You are an achiever. You are a victor. You are a leader. You are the head. All right? Keep going, my dear chosen ones. I radiate love, peace, goodwill, good health to all chosen ones all over the world. Stay blessed. I'm out.